I've been thinking about the direction I want Neurodivergent Rebel to go in the new year and I've built up with the help of all of you this platform that I think is really awesome but I think it has the potential to be even more awesome and as many of you know the reason I started asking autistics is because I never want my voice to be the only voice that's heard on this platform. So I ask a lot of questions, hoping that many of you will share your experiences as well. And in the new year, I'm hoping to start interviewing other neurodivergent voices in the community. And today I'm going to start with my first interview. And I'm really, really, really excited about this one. Long awaited, as many of you have already might know, my first guest is my husband. <laughs> the wonderful, talented, and handsome David Rivera. David, would you like to come to the sofa? No, not really. <laughs> no, David's no, very no. reluctant and doesn't want to be on camera. And I told Dave, you don't even have to look at the camera. You can pretend it's not here. Hi. The camera's not here. The camera's not here. I love you. <laughs> You know what it is? I'm uncomfortable being on camera. Yeah, I know you are. It's okay. So I said, just look at me instead. I'm gonna look outside. Okay, that's fine. I have your. I have some of your questions here. I guess I'll put that there too. Our beverages can sit there and be dating while we have our date on the show. Yes. I'll talk to you and hi. Not you. Oh, the beverages. The, the beverages. <laughs> yeah. So I'll talk to you. Uh, and they're here. They're here. But just you know, it's just you and me. It's just you and me. Just you and I. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll pick this first question from Mote's Place the Page. And I think it'll be easy for you right now. And it's, uh, what do you find frustrating? <laughs> this interview? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, I thought that might be. This easy. interview, uh, doing things that are not in my time frame. Yeah. You know, I struggle with. I like to be prepared and know what I'm getting into. I don't like to put myself in situations that I'm not. Uh. Of course, not comfortable in, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. I, I was I like, that would be a really appropriate question for this right now. Did I even answer? I have no idea. Yeah. What do you find frustrating? Well, right now I knew it was like this. Things that are not in my hands, number yeah. one. You know, yeah. and I normally don't do things that are not in my hands. I like to be in control of my situations. That way I can escape if I need to. I can't escape this video. <laughs> I can. I can walk out if I want to. <laughs> I appreciate you not escaping the video. I really do. I feel like I'm in prison right now. Oh. I feel like I'm in prison. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> oh. Leave you, Radu? Leave you. Leave you. I'd ask about his personal interest and what brings him joy. Music, books, nature. It would be nice to hear him talk about things he is passionate about. What's something you're passionate about? What what is, what is your what are you interested in right now? I don't now? know, not much anymore. I know. Since we hit the road, like you've been so busy trying. Like to... I haven't had time to do me. <clears throat> I think you need something. I was thinking that the other day. I was like, you need a hobby right now. I don't have one. I know. I drive. You're I drive when necessary. Also, I love driving. You're also very creative. Ah, uh, I guess, but. You've done photography in the past. You're really good. Years with ago. You're very good with videography. Not today. <laughs> today you were tired and didn't want to do the interview. <laughs> I don't like being on video either. So, like yeah. your little video clips that you do or whatever, I'm like, I'm in there for like a second, so not a big deal. We've been breaking you in slowly, slowly, Pop, popping that video cherry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, hobbies? Nah, not really, none. Not right now. Not now. What do you think you might want to be interested in? Hobbies? Yeah. Right now, yeah. a lot of my energy goes into the house, the truck, uh, keeping it maintained. And a lot of things we do, you and I just do things together. Like we socialize together. We talk about this together. We talk about our past together. So the hobby we do right now is just building us. Yeah. That's what we mainly do. We talk about us and our relationship, uh, how we're feeling, how we're doing, what can change. Reconnecting with each other. I got really burnt out a few years ago in my corporate job where I worked a million hours 
not a million literally but a lot of hours all the time just around the clock i was never unavailable never you can drink on camera i just try to eat on camera because those chewing sounds what sound the chewing sound how chewing 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 <laughs> chewing anyway chewing. so i got disconnected because i completely shut down and had no energy for my passions my hobbies mm. or dave poor dave mm. was isolated for a really long time and i had just kind of shut down and just like went into myself because i was just yeah but back, back then i was into the photography and editing stuff so you had something to i do. was yeah i had something to do i didn't need you oh <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wow. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Reed Madden, do you have echolalia yourself? If so, what tends to trigger it more often? What are And also, what are your comfort song shows or movies? Too many questions. Okay, so let's do the echolalia first. Do you have echolalia? Right, but not in the form that they asked. What triggers your echolalia? I think the question was echo do you have yourself. Echolalia? Do you have echolalia yourself? Oh, I heard you echolalia yourself. Yeah, do you have echolalia yourself? I do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We echo each other a lot. A lot. Yeah. What triggers it more often? Which, what do you think triggers it? Me. Lyric. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs. The truck. A noise from the truck. Hitting a pothole. The grocery <laughs> stores. Anybody who's near me at a grocery store. If a child is near me and makes a sound, I'll do that. Uh, if an adult is saying something that sounds kind of different to me, I'll repeat that. I do a lot of running away in the grocery store. <laughs> Or the convenience store or you know just anywhere <laughs> when we go out shopping uh like we did the santa fe once and we went around the square and you know there's a bunch of noises out there yeah i mimic noises like when you accidentally echoed that child and you're like that mom's gonna kill me <laughs> run because <laughs> you didn't and because you know nobody's gonna assume it's an autistic adult they're gonna assume you're making fun of their child. Making fun of somebody. Polar bear's gonna come for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta get the heck out of there, you know? Because people assume autistic adults don't exist. But not only that, here's what I also do. I... Oh, this is so weird. No. I... <laughs> like at the grocery store. If I hear someone ask a question, I'll answer it, even though they're not talking to me. It's not echolalia or anything, but... I don't do that one. I, I, I... I... Like if a kid asks his mom, Oh, can I have this candy? And I hear it, and I'm like, sure, grab it. You know, I'll just say stuff like that. Or someone's talking on the phone at a grocery store, you know, and they'll say something, and I'll answer the question, how I'm feeling in that moment. You know, how did you like the concert or whatever? Well, I didn't go to the concert after all, you know, I'll say, you know, but that's just me in passing. It's just a thing. What about people's accents? Accents? I'll do accents, too, if I hear them. Or they're interesting enough for my ear. Now, there was a second question. There's another question, also from Reed. What are your comfort shows, songs, and movies? Comfort shows? Shows. I like comedy. Like MASH, number one. Oh, yeah. I love MASH. What did we watch, you and I, with the families? Life in Pieces? Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. you like those murder shows. Murder documentaries. Forensic Files. Not yeah, all yeah. murder whatever but forensic files i take da, interest da, 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 da. i don't even know what they're what? saying but i just know the tone like oh, yeah. you're sort of walking in the night you never got to the top. <laughs> i can't remember what you're saying you I mumbled know, i was just i don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know what they're saying i just it know like the, a, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like she it's never always, made it home where did she disappear it has this like <laughs> rhythmic you know it's all i don't know it, it's a soothing type it's, of I narration it's soothing but i can tune it out you don't find it soothing listening to them graphically no the guy murders. talking the guy who's talking who's narrating because i'm a visual thinker when they're Why describing did she not disturbing make it home? things you know, like, it's like it's mm. i'm too involved to find that relaxing <laughs> like that is stressful to me but like someone else who's a really close friend of mine also found them relaxing so you know you're not the only person and i bet someone out here listening right now actually would find that relaxing as well. I don't think you're alone in that either. I, I'm pretty sure you're not. Drop a comment if you find forensic files or something similar to be relaxing. I, I'm betting you'll have you'll yeah, have others. Those. Sally thinks you're so cute. <laughs> Sally think other thoughts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh oh. This is I'll put this one might be putting you on the spot. And if it's not Don't put me on the spot. it's okay. Okay. It's, yeah, it's okay. You can always pass on any of them. That's why I was like, you relax because you can pass. Bianca White says, when did he know he loved you? About seven years after into our relationship. Takes some people longer. About seven years. Yeah. That, oh. was, that was easy. Something like that. Seven, six years. Yeah. 
Okay, but do I answer why or what? I don't understand. That, that was just all they asked. That's all they yeah. asked. It was the spring of 2010. You're making that up. Aren't you? I don't know. I was like, you don't actually know that one, do you? It's okay. She's going to fall. Uh, she's going to, yeah, she might. As long as she don't take my laptop with her. You punched you. I punched me in the ear. I punched me in the ear. Yeah. <laughs>